Well, it could be considered a landscaper's worst nightmare, but experts reckon now is not the time to mow the lawns. The concept of no mow may came about to help wild plants thrive and provide essential nectar for insects such as bees. Initial studies found that unmowed lawns support five times as many bees. The movement has spread through the northern hemisphere as it enters the beginning of spring there. So should we be doing the same? Expert in all things six or eight legged, Rude Klein Pass joins me now. Hi Rude, thanks so much for coming on tonight. Well this is all a bit scandalous, isn't it? Not mowing your lawn? What will the neighbours say? Oh yeah, well it could be scandalous, but I think that's the way to go. Look, this is for northern hemisphere people who are always behind the times, to be quite honest. What we could do, we can be a step further. We can go a step further. If we, at this time of the year, for instance, would get rid of our lawn and sow wildflowers, as far as the eye can see, then our flowers will be ready by spring because I think the pumps might be a bit late with this. OK. So is there a typical, to wear the Kiwi attitude, is there a typical Kiwi approach to uh, caring for our gardens? Yes, there is. There are people that are absolutely, terribly... Uh, uh, precise about their lawns and I can't stand that and there's people that want to be precise but they've got too many weeds and then there's people I call them the hippies that actually have these wildflowers and then they they mow little beautiful sinuous if you like pathways through the wildflowers where you can walk but those wildflowers are the ones that bring all the pollinators to your garden all the predators and pest and pest controllers if you like the the parasitic wasps that do a great job to control all the baddies in your garden and that makes a heck of a lot of sense. Okay, so those really beautifully manicu manicured lawns that we all admire, we shouldn't really be admiring them after all, you're saying? No. No, okay. Okay, <laughs> so if you really, really no, no. love our gardens then what uh, yeah, should we be doing? I think, mo look, today I've been at the school, the kids know Biodiversity gives you everything that you need in your garden, from birds to lizards to all the right creatures that we need to have. So as much different flowers as you can and start early. OK, uh, so it sounds like we've just um, cleared up a couple of hours over the weekends. What we should, should we be doing instead? We get out there and plant wildflowers. Flowers. Both yes. flowers, but also the new wildflowers that will come out actually in, in, in autumn, but especially in spring. And then in spring, you cannot believe your lawns because they are flowering with orange, yellows, whites, and you'll get bees, you'll get native bees, 28 species, you get all your predators and parasites, and the birds will come because there's so much to eat. Lovely. Absolutely. Okay, we have permission to put our feet up this weekend. Rude, thanks so much yes. for your time and expertise this evening.